I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Ah! Hey, hey! <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. Um, so today, there's no camera today, uh, sort of fixing a few things. So this time it's just a regular upload. So yeah, we are finally back with more Ellie. So last time we left off, it was a bit of a tense moment. Let's just check on Dina. So yeah, end of last episode, we found out that Dina was pregnant. And Dina also found out that Ellie is immune. That was after fleeing from a horde. So yeah, so a pretty busy episode last time. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. You'll uh, you'll see my attempt at using a camera for the very first time. So yeah, so we just made it to. I'm presuming it's uh, a safe spot. Um. I'm sort of checking that out right now. So, oh, what's that? Oh, oh, uh, yeah. And I can't. Maybe I can pick it up more if I put my light on. Maybe. No. Ah, oh, he won't let me pick it up. Why won't he let me pick it up? Oh dear. It's like not let, literally not letting me pick it up. Oh no. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, there we go. My goodness. Mortem trading card. Uh, read. Blip. So, real name Mort Marquez. Maybe. Brain 60, brawn 40. Affiliation, none. So, 16-year-old Mort Marquez lay in a coma for 10 days after a horrible car accident, remembering nothing save for visions of a cloaked skeleton giving him a... scythe? I don't even know if that's... I'm going to be honest, I don't know what that says or how to pronounce it. Upon waking, he learns of his ability to make any living thing he touches wither and die. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Sorry, a bit sick, really. I'm sorry. <laughs> a bit awesome, but sick, of course. When he uh, when he inadvertently kills the family cat. Aww. Both the Society of Champions and Spark seek him out, the former hoping to keep him away from the general public, the latter to use him for a bioweapon research. Mortimer is on a path to find answers. Why was he cursed with this morbid... Sorry, with these morbid powers? Yeah, morbid, but pretty awesome. As long as you don't kill the family cat, of course. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so now that Dean is pregnant, I mean, I'm not quite sure what that's going to mean. Um, I mean, really, I mean, she should go back. Um... Because I don't see how that's going to work. Um, well, in my opinion. I mean, because she's not looking too well already. Can I make anything? No. So, yeah, I mean. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, I don't think she intentionally sort of kept it. I mean, obviously she thought something, but then again, as I said, it's not something that, you know, is not good now. Oh, another card. Beyond trading card. Uh, B. 
beyond. That's interesting. So, uh, Brains 80, Brawn 40. Again, affiliation none. Imani Graves. Um, after a near-death experience that left her in a coma for two weeks. Oh, another one. This seasoned detective found that she could cross from our world into the spirit world, allowing her to communicate with the dead. Now known as Beyond, she splits her time between solving murder investigations and serving as a spiritual medium for grieving families seeking closure. However, her forays into the spirit world are clearly hastening her demise. She looks considerably older than her 35 years. How much longer does she have? Hmm. So I'm not sure if you can hear my cat. She's sort of like purring into the microphone. And now she's cleaning her feet. Aren't you tough? Do you have to clean now? Yeah? Uh, me, Perez, Green and Adams made it to the listening post two days ago. And so far so good. WLF haven't come looking here yet. The city is lost to the WLF. We escaped headquarters out of sheer luck and good timing. Torres Ward and the others are probably dead. Camping here, grateful to be alive for now. Uh, can't sleep, burning up with a fever, no medicine. Looked everywhere, we don't have anything except the uniforms on our backs. No contact from... Anyone on the radio either. How many of us made it out? September 7th, still feverish, don't have any big cuts, so probably not an infection. The others are waiting till nightfall, they're making a run to the hospital to get medicine for me and supplies for where, wherever we're going next. They're good guys. September 10th, this shouldn't take long. Okay, this note's old. Still, better be careful. Hmm. Okay, I can make something now. Um, okay, so the w WLF don't seem that great, do they? Did I look around there? I did. Oh. Alcohol. Oh, anything there? What's in here? Hmm. Projector room. Goody, goody, goodies. You know, I've never been to the theater. Ever. Is that bad? And I haven't been to the cinema since... Oh God. It too. That was the last thing I saw at the cinema. That was bloody awesome though, I enjoyed it too. Oh, note. Uh, September 13th. So, firstly, I don't think they're coming back. They're not coming back. Either got ambushed or they ditched me. I don't think they ditched you. Not my fault I got sick. At least the fever's gone, but now I'm fucking starving. <laughs> can probably raid the buildings nearby for food, then see if I can raid, raise someone on the radio. Uh, constant rain means I won't die of thirst. Unfortunately, it keeps making the, uh, the electricity conk out all the time. Makes it kind of hard to use the radio. Uh, not like anyone's answering anyway. The WLF can't have hit all the federal listening posts. No way, need to keep trying. Uh, se September 16th, dreamt they were laughing as I slowly bled out from a gut shot. Woke up an hour ago, still shaking, need a cigarette. You think there'd be a pack or two stashed somewhere in the fucking theatre, but apparently not this one. Power went out again, going to head to the roof and see if I can get it back on. Need to get the power going. 
Okay. Follow the power cable. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying this game right now. I mean, after Joel died, I thought maybe, you know, obviously I wasn't like too happy with how it sort of happened. Um, but yeah, like really starting to sort of like get into the story now. So I'm interested to see like where it goes and what happens to Ellie really, I guess. Because right now she's not really, I don't know, quite herself. Hmm. Oh God. Damn. You get fried? Because <laughs> you weren't much of an electrician. Sparky, sparky. Down we go, down we go. So I'm presuming when Dina wakes up, I mean, I would imagine we're gonna. Uh, oops. Apologize. Ooh, the radio is working now. Oh, what's this? Oh, that might be for the door downstairs. Maybe. Maybe we should go check on Dina again. Maybe. She's still okay. Um, it was over here, wasn't it? The door. All right. Oh wow! Cool. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, my words. Yeah. Joel, you love watching a movie in this place. Behind the scenes. Uh, spooky. <sighs> no way. No way. Guitar. Was it again? Oh.
Storm sounds like so. Hmm. <laughs> Ugh, suck. Oh, Joel. Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, no, we get to play with Joel? I'm gonna start guessing. Do you want to spoil your surprise now? Oh, no. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not going to guess. Is it a puppy? A puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. <laughs> why wouldn't you call it just a bunch of kittens? I don't know what. It's called a litter. That's so dumb. It's not a litter of kittens. Okay, okay. Hot air balloon. More walking, less talking. Mind your step. I got it. I got it. Oops. Ah! You should see your face right now. What if I drown? I you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's this way. The worst. Hey, she can swim now. Your swimming's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You Push gotta. Push the water with your whole arm. Blah, blah, blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Take a look at this. See that deer over there? Where? See it? Just through there, look. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Looks like. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. Ugh. Oh, God, nearly went into the... You're going to need to dive under here. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. He did say he was going to teach her how to swim, didn't he, in the first one? <laughs> he stops wet. Is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. <laughs> Point still stands. Oh, which way? Right, got another dive over here. Where are you taking me? <gasps> yeah, where are we going? Is it a new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. You right there, Joel? There. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. <laughs> oh, good. But like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. 
A new DVD collection? <sighs> yes. Listen, which one? Just... yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. <gasps> it's a T-Rex's ass. Holy shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my <gasps> god, it is a dinosaur! And it is. Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Do they still call it a Tyrannosaurus Rex now? They keep changing the name of the King dinosaurs. Of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. That's what I say to my dog, Teddy. <laughs> he's a terrier, and I say, he's a big boy. Uh, oh, okay. Joel said he's taking me on a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he said I'll love. He's acting very proud of himself. Smoke old fogery. <laughs> Cat sat next to me um, at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably. Probably not. Dina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. Farming rotation blows. I don't get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self. Talk to Maria about how early I can sign up for patrol training. Dina and I found this cool old campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summers for fun. We found all these art supplies. She cut colour paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. Cool. Thanks, Joel. Hey, can we climb up that? Look at that. Look how the, the ivy's gone just round it. Look, that looks amazing. Can I climb it? Can I go up? I'm probably going to fall off. Yeah, I'm going to fall off. Oh, no, I can. What are you doing? Uh, uh, Ellie, be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur. Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. Look at me. I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, wasn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Gosh, you were so lucky that was like deep and not shallow. Okay. Wyoming Museum. Okay, Ellie, get in the door. What's this? Uh, it's a book? It's a dinosaur book. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, because they keep changing the name of dinosaurs now, don't they? I mean, the Velociraptor is now... Brontosaurus is what now? The Diplodocus or something like that? I don't know. It was like so much different when I learned at school. Oh, hat. Oh, man. You want to try it on? I do not. Hmm. Your loss. Hey, that's like the hat, the hat from Jurassic Park, right? Dr. Grant wore a hat like that. God, I love that movie. I miss that movie. I'm going to watch that movie again, actually. This is making me think of Jurassic Park. Not so much the newer ones, they're shit. But yeah, the originals were great. Oh, look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. Yes. Actually, it's a de... Dionanicus. What? Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called them in this movie I saw. 
Are we talking about Jurassic Park, Joel? What's in here? So I take it there's nothing to sort of like pick up or collect here, I guess. <clears throat> oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Joel, it's for you. Very funny. That was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's carry on. All right. So those are those little ones from the Lost World. The second one, I think. Compsognathus. Whew. It's a big name for little guys. Yeah. They'd swarm you. Oh. Did you see that in a movie, too? Actually, yeah. But a different one. See, there's a sequel. It wasn't as good. <laughs> yeah, definitely referencing Jurassic Park. <laughs> I don't, actually, I didn't think that the second one was that bad. I just thought the ending, like, sort of went a bit off plot. Tiny head. <laughs> Joel, look! That is a hat on a dinosaur. Can you put it on this one? Triceratops. A big head. Maybe. Hey, is this gonna be a thing? Please don't let it be a thing. Should be. Oh, we can do it to Joel. Can we do it to Joel? Hey, Joel. Ellie. Don't you dare take it off. My birthday, my rules. Okay, let's check out the rest. So we've got. Oh, here, here we go. Brachiosaurus. Triceratops. This is one I recognize. Yeah, I know. It makes you feel like you're a bit brain dead. Brachiosaurus. So that's the. That was the Brontosaurus, right? I'm sure it's called something else now. Alright, I'll check these guys out in a minute. Let me go in the bathroom. Ooh, a card! The Nighthawk trading card. Oh, uh, cool. What you got there? These, uh, superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. What was the little creature thing? I forget. Uh, Jerry Lavelle, 80 Brains, 80 Brawn, Affiliation Society of Champions. When a freshly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in a skirmish between Spark, Aerobots, and the Society of Champions, his oh, quick thing... Sounds like a pill. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sounds like a pill. His quick thinking ended up saving the day. With his arms and legs wounded in, in the battle... Dr. Stem created a set of energy wings for his arms and energy blades for his shoes, allowing him to cover both land and sky at absurd speeds. Together with his loyal greyhound, oh, and greyhounds, Ezo, the small town kid known as the Nighthawk scours the world for evildoers, always ready to dive back into action. Hero. Nice. Oh. I think we've all done that in the mirror once or twice, haven't we? Okay, so who are these guys now? So this is the Dem Dem 
The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. Dimetron. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator? Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? <laughs> Gallimimus? Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? Scientist. Well, they're dumb. <laughs> um. Oh, 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 oh! We don't want to miss those. Oviraptor. 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 Whoa! This one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe the birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse <laughs> me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. From a movie. Keep going. Okay. Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about. The Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't trust the movies, I guess. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Phala what the hell is that? Phala no. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like Tommy. I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. <laughs> in the right light. Oh, Tommy. Okay, and this one is. Oh, there's another hat. Yeah, now we've got one each. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. Hmm. Okay, so dinosaurs extinction. Space. <gasps> Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um, we can head back. Oh, shut up. Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? My Mercury, very Venus. Mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Hey, Joel, guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. That gun girl, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super fly? What? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can sit in the buggy, the moon buggy. Oh, fuck yeah. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Just the real one. Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. One day, yeah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> but now, hold on just a minute. We're going into space. You're gonna need a helmet. Oh, 
Right. What was I thinking? Um, do I have to pick that one? Can I pick any one? Uh, gem we'll, we'll go with the Gemini one. Mercury. No, no, we'll do Gemini. <laughs> so cool. How does it smell in there? <laughs> like space. And dust. Okay. After you. Watch your hand. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. As you look at all these buttons. Imagine just. <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. <laughs> well, what do you say we uh, keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess. I'm not a little bit um, <coughs> upset by that. Okay. Oh. This one, her backpack. Yeah. Wow. What an amazing gift, Joel. Thank you. He's just so sweet. He always tried to show her that her life meant something. 
Mm. Okay, let's uh, let's carry on. Take it as this way. Thank you. There's more museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Um. <gasps> hey! oh God. Never do anyone else this much grief. Get down here! No! Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Geronimo! <laughs> nice. <sighs> nice indeed. Okay, this is a bear, right? Yeah, that's a bear. Uh, Natural History Center. So I take it we'll be going on to other animals now, like... Hey, who's being there? Bears and yeah, stuff. I don't know. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. I don't know. There might be deers in there. Okay. All right. Yep. There. Um... Okay, bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll, I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. <laughs> there are dinosaurs around. Yeah, so this is Animals of North America. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Stay strong, buddy. Wolves versus a moose. Nice. Oh. Um. Well, that ruined my nice little moment there. Bison. Big horn. Yeah, go big horns. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. This guy needed a hug. Okay. Um, it's dark in here. Yeah, I know. Birds of the wetlands. Uh, woodland songbirds of Wyoming. The four soldiers at the gate. The last one cried. Ow. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. The woman we tortured choked on her own blood. Okay, I'm not nervous at all. I'm fine. Biomes of North America. I'm currently teaching my kids about that stuff now. Uh, fox. Oh, do I need to pick something up? Oh. Do I have a gun? I do have a gun. Get my gun. Shit. Come out, fucker. No, don't come out, fucker. Stay hidden, fucker. What is that? Interesting. The kid who... Oh, I can pick up... Oh, I can pick up stuff. The kid who ran into the blast. I couldn't stop him. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can pick up stuff. Oh, God. Raccoon! 
God, something's going to jump out at me in a minute, isn't it? Bugs. I love bugs. There's no light. More bugs. Oh, butterflies. Moss. Oh, God. We wanted to end suffering. We wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed part of ourselves, our leaders kept saying it will be worth it. Now we've disbanded with nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents loved bringing me here. It was one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak, before all the cruelty and savagery. Those memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person I've become. There is no light. <gasps> Stupid fake animals. <laughs> hey, those are some pretty good looking fake animals. Look at the eyes on that one. Spooky. Some is like literally gonna is it a stalker or something or runner or No it's a It's a fucking pig. Jesus. Let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Come on. Well, that's a shame. They were having such a nice time, and then every time they seem to be having a good time together, like. Something to do with the fireflies always pops back up. Shit, did we fall asleep? All night? play again if I want. Does that mean I have another dream? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, shit, let's go check on Dina. What was that? Nothing. Dina, da -da -da Dina, Dina. She's not there. can hear something. Oh. Hey. How hot do I look right now? Pretty hot. How'd you fix it? It was a loose connection. Antenna. They found our mess at the school. Good. This guy, Owen, he went AWOL. Maybe Tommy got to him. Maybe. What about her? Nothing yet. Unit Romeo, you are requested at site two. Repeat, you are requested at site two. 
So, the numbers are locations. The TV station we were at, that's six. There's a lot of chatter coming out of two, so I'm assuming that's their home base. That helps. Look. Last night was... stupid. Lone male trespasser. Tommy, where's 14? Uh, not a hundred percent sure. Okay, then guess. Uh, if this is seven, twelve's all the way over here. I guess it's somewhere in this neighborhood. Old crest. Okay. Keep tracking them, okay? Yeah, okay. Wait. Give me your hand. It's for good luck. I don't believe in luck. I do. Crest. Is this the right place? Definitely the right place. It's gotta be Tommy. <sighs> Shit. Okay, guys, so I think I'm gonna leave it here. I know that was a pretty short one, but I got a feeling now that I'm on my own, this next section is probably gonna be a bit longer. So, yeah, um, I mean, I think Dina should obviously head back. She's obviously not well with this pregnancy. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm glad she's resting and she's staying safe, I guess, for the time being. So that's a positive thing. Um, so I'm going to leave Ellie here at, is it Hillcrest? Yeah, and we will catch up here on the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you for the next one.